Okay, this lesson is on congruent triangles, and the term congruent means exactly the same. Exactly the same. And by that I mean that it has not only the same shape, but also the same size. Um, two triangles that are congruent have three sets of angles that are equal. So they have one equal angle there, one equal angle here, and another equal angle down over here. And they have three sets of equal sides. So this side here maybe is the two hash side, and this one's the one hash side, and this one's the three hash side. Meaning that each of those pairs of sides are exactly the same. And you can identify congruent triangles because congruent triangles can sit right over top of each other and exactly cover each other up. If I were to take one of these triangles and slide it over top of the other one, you can see that they fit over each other exactly. Because these two tri triangles are congruent, that's the case. Now, if one of these triangles was almost the same, say uh, it sat on top but it was just a little bit smaller, like that, then these two triangles would be similar because they are the same shape, but they're not congruent unless they're exactly the same in every way, size and shape, uh, not necessarily color, um, but obviously in any, any way that matters mathematically. So congruent means exactly the same. And if you have two triangles that are shown as congruent, with this little symbol like this, if they're identified as congruent, then you can specifically say that if they are congruent triangles, then corresponding sides are also congruent. So the side that's on the right hand of the right angle here of both triangles would be the same. The side that's opposite the right angle on both triangles would be the same. Assuming we know the triangles are congruent, then we can specify that corresponding sides are the same on both triangles. We can also say that corresponding angles are congruent, like so. Whether we know that ahead of time or not, if we know the two triangles are congruent, then we know that those angles are also congruent. So let's take a picture of how these particular rules fit in with the example problems, and uh, we'll go through the example problems one at a time. 